Hey guys, it's I Try Film again, and I'm here with another short video. A lot of you guys have been asking in the comment section how I get my film developed, where I get them developed, and how I get them on my phone, the pictures. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a few methods and places to go to, especially if you live in New York City. So yeah, let's start. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys two methods because I have two different types of film that I develop differently. So for my 35mm film, I just go to a local film shop because it's easier and faster for me rather than mailing these in. I'd say a film shop compared to like a CVS or Walgreens because if you go to a place that can process and scan your film inside the place, it'll be faster, like maybe two to four days. Uh, and if you go to a CVS or a Walgreens, then it's gonna take a longer time because most CVSs and Walgreens will not do it in the store. They'll have to mail it out for you, get it done somewhere else and then mail it back. And that can range anywhere from like a week to two weeks. And then you're gonna have to pick it up from there at the end. Also, if you don't know what to ask for, just ask for developing and scans or processing and scans. So this means that they'll take the film out of the roll and then get these developed chemically. Like they do something with chemicals where the photos will show. And then they'll give back your negatives, which is the roll of film if you ask for them or they'll toss them. But when you ask for scans, that's when they actually scan the photos on the film onto a computer and that way they can either email it to you, put it on a USB drive, or even put it on a CD so that you guys can access it on your phone or your computer to post on social media or save digitally. And I always do that. The thing is that when you ask for scans, it might cost a little extra like with the developing. So yeah, always ask, always ask for the price. You never know. So I have a few recommendations for those who live in New York City or near New York City. The first place is Unique Copy Center. That place will definitely give you the scans within three days. Uh, the next place is Bleecker Digital Solutions, also downtown Manhattan. That place will also give it to you within three to four days. And Bridgewood Photo. So that's not in Manhattan, it's between Brooklyn and Queens. That's the place I'm going to right now and they only charge me $8 per roll, which is amazing. And they get back to me within two days, so definitely recommend that place. Lastly, I recommend Photodom, which is based in Brooklyn and is the first black owned camera shop, which is really cool. They have a lot of items such as uh, bags, sweaters, hats, like all film or camera themed and even books. And they have all different types of film ranging from like 35 millimeter film to Portra, uh, I don't really know a lot of the names of the film except for like Fuji and Kodak, but they do have other options. They sell Polaroids, they sell used cameras, they sell um, cameras that they find in other places that are really unique and they're all film. So yeah, that's how I get my 35 millimeter film developed and let's move on to 100 film, which looks like this. People have been recommending me this website called thedarkroom.com and it's the only place that I found that could develop this kind of film. So I'm gonna do it and screen record it and possibly try to put it on the screen for you guys. So it's actually been like a day since I said I was going to go get it printed, but my printer broke down and someone else had to print it out for me. But we're going to continue. So um, the first thing you're going to need is a envelope, preferably bubble wrap, just so that the film doesn't get tossed around or the plastic doesn't crack. And then you're going to print out your shipping label, which I'm not going to show you the address of, <laughs> and either tape it or glue it on. I don't have tape, so I'm going to glue it on. Okay, this 
So I glued it on. And now you're going to have to put in the receipt because that's what the website said and you want to do exactly what they say just so it doesn't get sent back and you haven't wasted your time. And then finally I'm going to put my three 110 roll films in. So that's how I get my 35mm film and my 110 film developed. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.